It's such a bad idea. I kind of love it. And Effective fortunate. and broken. We have a ton of beef jerky. We also have this oxygen in a can. It's only 5.7 miles more. I can smell it smoking already. Hammer time, baby. We're just gonna sit and think real hard about if we want to continue on or not. <laughs> All right, so we're in the Rocky Mountains with Go Power Sports this week, and we have an extremely ambitious plan. Arguably way too ambitious. So basically, there's a really difficult, like, six-mile-long hill climb that, like, even dirt bikes have a hard time getting up. I just learned it was six miles. Oh, it's 5.9 I didn't know it was that long. Dude, it's, yeah, it's long. And uh, uh, basically, all the guys are doing it with the most high-end Trail Master mini bikes. They're, you know, good completely modified more power more suspension more torque we're gonna try to do it with like a 1980 mtd yeah the tires are from the 80s the tires are from the 80s yeah. flathead engine uh there's no air filter we don't even know if it runs the wheels are going to be probably smaller than some of the boulders out there we haven't laid eyes on this thing since pate swabbed me two years ago but we're going to oh, drag yeah. it out of the back of the truck see what we're working with and uh Hope. Well, we might be going on a ride tomorrow. Yeah, I think we bit off more than we can chew. Definitely. So while Charles uncovers the bike from the back of the truck, I'm going to show you what has a fighting chance of getting up that trail. This is an MB200 Trailmaster full suspension. It's got their new adjustable shocks. Uh, it's got the best tires for the job. It's got a uh, modified engine for more power. And uh, I bet you it has... Yep, a bigger sprocket for more pulling. So, yep, they have torque to get up the hill. We have three horsepower. Yeah, <laughs> it's such a bad idea, I kind of love it. Oh wait, does it have front suspension? No. 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 It doesn't? Oh, it does! It does. Dude, we're, we're good. We're in the clear. We're Hold in on. the clear. Look, it works. It works. My wrists feel better already. But you know, this is, oh boy. Oh, is this a four horse too? I thought it was only a three horse. Dude, you know, you it could know be how, a five like, horse. Picture this. Picture this. Oh, H35. Oh, I think it's a three. All right, so picture this fishing competition. Everybody's got their real nice boats. We got a John boat with a paddle. <laughs> but that's okay because we're going to bring home the biggest fish. <laughs> so here are the pros and cons rundown. The pros it has dual exhaust. That two mufflers doesn't make dual exhaust. And it has it has a torque converter on it already. The cons, no air filter, we need to figure that out. We have a massive crack in the frame. That's gonna be a big problem, potentially. Uh, no horsepower. Uh, we have tires from the 80s that are uh, pretty cracked out. Dude, it's got a new belt. I don't know what you're worried yeah, about. Yeah, we're good to go. Yeah, it's definitely, an amb it's definitely ambitious to see if this is gonna make it on the trail, but... Uh... Oh boy. Some good padding. Yeah, we're, we're going, going to need, need it. it. Oh <laughs> See, all right. I thought this was a terrible idea, and now it's a, I think it's a terrible now idea, it's but getting, I'm, I'm kind of into it yeah, now. It's getting funnier okay. and funnier. I I'm really kind of into it. I want to see right. the look on the guy's face when we get to the top of the hill with this. <laughs> <laughs> we briefly interrupt this very ambitious trail ride on the mtd mini bike to announce that we have a brand new t-shirt available on our website cars-cameras.com this is the all-new mini mayhem t-shirt we went with a super clean design i designed it myself in preparation for mini mayhem coming up next month it is a nice 100 cotton navy blue t-shirt with the very crispy white text. Uh, I love it, very comfortable, very clean. I think it's our cleanest design yet. You can pick one up on our website, cars-cameras.com. We also have a giveaway going on right now. So from now until October 13th, 2022, all orders on our website, cars-cameras.com will get you automatically entered to win this. This is a toolbox custom wrapped with this one-off cars and cameras graphic package. Not only is it a custom one-off toolbox, it's also loaded with all of our favorite tools 
for working on go-karts and mini bikes. We have a wrench set, we have a ratchet set, zip ties, standard and metric adjustable wrenches, uh, carburetor drill bits, feeler gauges, the list goes on. You can find, you can read all the terms and conditions and rules on our website, cars-cameras.com. But basically, go order one of our brand new Mini Mayhem t-shirts while supplies last, and you'll get automatically entered to win this one-off toolbox. That's now until October 13th. Uh, anyway, it's a great way to support cars and cameras, great way to get some high quality merchandise, and you get automatically entered to win this uh, really cool one-off toolbox that we've put a lot of work into. Anyway, thank you all for your support. Let's get back to the video. Do another spin for the people. Another spin. I like the t-shirt. Me too. How many poles, Ike? Seven. Three. Lucky number seven. So I think I'm with Charles. It's a, it's a chief no start. Number seven. I will say, this won't help us tomorrow. But these oh. bikes had very clever gas gauges back in the day. Yeah, there's supposed to be a float on the bottom of this. So when it floats up, it spins that to full. And then when it goes down, it goes to empty. Yep. Simple. And Effective functional. and broken. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the floats dry rot, and, and then I guarantee it's Throttle in the works. tank. So. Throttle works? Yeah. Kill switch? Oh, we got junk in the filter, so it'll be fine. Good to go. Mix is working. <laughs> get the throttle. Uh, I'll just get the bike. Okay, here we go. Three poles, dude. It might have done it with two. I was I was slow on the throttle. Don't feel that on this one. It was idling. Yeah, let's get it down. Yeah, let's get it down. Who wants to go for a ride? See, it's got torque, man. That's I'm telling torque. you. Oops. Did you cut it off? No. <laughs> it, it decided to. Oh, it does the purpose of things. Burn a little bit of oil, but that's okay. Should I ride it to the vampire? Yep. Got it. Uh, this was a bad idea over here. I don't have my helmet on. But it just wanted to go. It wants to live. It wants to live. It wants to live. Wants uh, let's just adjust the brakes. And yeah. And get a little bit more out of it. Oh boy. I don't look too good up there. Just, just don't look at it. Don't yeah, look, yeah, just don't look at it. Oh. You know that smell. Of the old Tecumseh uh, smell. Old, yeah, dude. Old flathead, old flathead smell. That's what it's got. Briggs or Tecumseh, they all, all smell right. the same. So here's an adjuster right here. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so we're supposed to have more threads than that on our axle now. What happened? I don't know. Oh, they, there's some washers in there now. They shimmed it. I wonder if it was hitting something. Hmm. Dude, that's not. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Anybody got any pliers? I got pliers, son. Oh, wait. I can it's see. Already loose. I can it's see. already loose. I can see the inner tube. It'll be fine. Through the crack. I need some pliers. Okay. All right. I think a, a wrench would probably work better on we, this. We don't have any wrenches. What? We just have sockets? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we need wrenches. We have a bunch of wrenches in that uh, plastic tote. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. We had to go get the wrenches. Ike found the wrenches. But he told me that there was one of these. Juggernaut I think, torque converter driver. I mean, like, why not? They didn't tell us that we could use it, but they didn't tell us we couldn't use it. There's two in here, so. We're going to borrow it. We'll just put it back. 
I'll just, I'll save the box then. So we adjusted the brakes and we have a little bit of something. We're gonna run to the store in the morning and grab some vice grips, maybe some oil, a couple of wrenches, but just last minute essentials. I, <laughs> I shimmed it with a pop tab. So that's probably not good enough for, for the no. trail, but no. for the driveway, yeah. yeah. It, worked. it worked right. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. We're, Good morning. we're in the general store. We're trying to find vice grips. Looking for some last minute parts to... We might have to divide and conquer. Yeah. I'll go this way. Ah, here we go. And they're good, good size. We don't, we don't need anything too big. Got the vice grips to fix the brakes. Bingo. So we made it back to the house and we installed our sock air filter. We had to go buy some provisions. We have a ton of beef jerky. We're gonna need for sustenance when we're pushing the bike. <laughs> we also have this oxygen in a can. I've always seen it around. Don't know if it works, but if we're pushing a mini bike three miles off the trail, we're gonna need some more oxygen up at 10,000 feet. So those are our provisions in case things go south. All right, bikes all loaded up. We'll see you out there on the trail. So we made it out to the, uh, I guess our starting point. We have a few miles to the trailhead, but uh, we had to ratchet strap our frame back together just to kind of fix this crack. Yeah. And we haven't even started yet. Ike's wearing his crop top. Yeah. Come on, baby. Yeah. So we confirmed the bike runs and we filled it up with fuel and we're pretty much ready to go. Now, this is gonna be very challenging just to get to the start of the trail for this old bike. Yeah. So we're gonna be switching out and the two that aren't on the MTD are gonna be on the Trailmaster Hurricane. This is the best out of the box bike you can buy for terrain like this. It has a factory front brake, factory front and rear suspension and a 196 cc engine. Uh, it's got plenty of power even at this altitude. I suspect they'll still struggle a little bit because we're be gonna be hitting about 10,000 feet. Uh, but we're gonna find out, we're gonna saddle up and hit the road. So we're here with the guys from Go Power Sports. And if you wanna check out one of these Trailmaster Hurricanes, we'll link it down in the video description. Um, the idea is we're gonna head out now. The Go Power Sports guys are gonna probably catch up to us and pass us at some point. We're just gonna get on the trail as soon as we can because we're gonna need a head start with the MTD. One pull, baby. There's wedges just stick in there. Oh man, look at that. Found that cartridge. That oh, looks fixed to me. Yay, it looks good. Woo. All right, mother nature. Let's hit it, boys. Almost got ice. <laughs> All right, yeah, so. So we're hitting the road to the trail, and uh, Ike's communicator isn't working. So we have no idea what's going on, but I assume he's full throttle right now. Uh, you know, he might be, he might not. And as it comes, is a three and a half horse. Oh boy. At sea level. <laughs> so it up here at 8,000 feet. We might be two horsepower right now. He might be making two horsepower. I mean, it's smoking. So Charles and I are both on a Trailmaster Hurricane, but his has what's called a stage one kit. It has basically an air filter, a larger carburetor jet, 
and a free-flowing exhaust. And I'm on a bone stock one. And just check out this performance difference. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. That's wild. I mean, we have similar yeah. top end, but like for basically 80, 90, 100 bucks worth of mods, yeah. that is, that's, a, that's a crazy difference. Oh yeah, night and day. Pretty darn cool. Yeah, but I'm catching up to y'all. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's what that's what really matters right there. What's up boys? I think they have, they're waiting to see this thing make it up the hill. Yeah, so we're at the base of the hill and there's the Go Power Sports guys. They probably just want to see Ike trying to come up the hill. I got it. So I'm gonna head up first and uh, I'll see you boys up there. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that's pretty much it right there. Oh, he's having to run next to it. Already running next to it. Oh, it sounds bad. It did. It did stall. Oh boy, it died. He fell down. Here comes Charles on the stage one hurricane. Dude, he's sending it. He is sending it. Dude, he is sending it. Oh, yeah. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, man. Nice job, man. Nice job. Meanwhile, meanwhile, <laughs> Here, I'll hold this bike. You just crash for a while. He's riding the struggle bus pretty hard. Water. <sighs> Got him one? You know, yep. It's a workout at sea level. It's... Oh, it's a workout at sea level, all right. You're a trooper, man. And we are 0.1 out of 5.9 miles in. <laughs> Settle in, boys. This is the easy part. This is the easy part. Is it really? <laughs> That's what they keep saying. Well, there goes some of the guys from Go Power Sports. They either hung around to make sure we made it or hung around to, make fun of it. to watch the show. But uh, that was gnarly. And this is just the start of the difficult trail. We're already breaking out the O2, huh? The oxygen. Sure. Why not? I've always wondered if these things are a scam or not. Yeah. Nose in the thing. You good? That's got to last all day now. Did it work pretty good? Whoa! <laughs> Tell You're supposed me. to hold it in, dude. <laughs> really? I haven't had a good bit of oxygen in like two and a half days, so. Did it work? It feels. I, so. I, I feel better. It's it's weird. So. All right, that MTD does not have the power. We need something more. Uh, an idea. I heard that up here in the Rockies, there is a Tillotson bush. Uh, and it's about the right time of year. There might be a ripe Tillotson on the bush. So why don't we go out and look for the Tillotson bush, guys? Hey, so my tracking skills. It blew it that way. It means the Tillotson might be that way. All right, let's go. I think we got one. Uh oh. Oh man. <clears throat> and it's. It it's, looks like it already fell from the bush, dude. Yeah. It's right. It's not a 196. It's it's fully developed into a 212. Awesome. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be that. right for the picking. About three times the horsepower, guys. Oh man, it's even got, got some extras in there too. And there, I think there's juggernaut trees around here. Oh, look, there's one low enough. 
There we go. I just, that, no. There's no such thing as a juggernaut tree. I mean, proof's in the pudding. Okay. I got a question. Is it gonna fit? Since it's so mature, it's oh, obviously boy. bigger. Is it gonna fit? I don't know. We've never put a Tillotson in a MTD. So uh, I guess we're gonna be finding out. I guess we're in the right place to test the fitment. Definitely. <laughs> there might be a Briggs bush around. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can smell it smoking already. <laughs> oh. Oh. Here we go. That is a gorgeous specimen. Don't let it get away from us now. Okay, so we totally did not plan on finding a Tillotson bush out here in the Rockies. So we didn't bring the right tool. So we got a vice grips on the uh, crank bolt there, so. <laughs> There's like no compression. Yeah, it's cause it's 40 years old. It's only and, three and, and a half. And every hours. little bit that it had, we just lost up yeah. here. <laughs> just left it on the trail. Here we go, hammer. Hammer time, baby. I think that worked. <laughs> it worked a little too easy. <laughs> Dude, that was, uh, <laughs> I mean, Usually they tell you like when you need something to work, don't hit it. But <laughs> you know. Yep, belt. All right, I'm gonna take the last bolt out and then uh, kill switch. Uh oh. Well, uh, well, uh oh. Uh oh. We. That's why we got a juggernaut. I say good riddance. Oh, look at that thing. That's so bad. Yeah. But <sighs> it worked. Yeah, it got us here. It got yeah. us here. So this Tillotson 212 we're swapping onto the MTD. If we can make it fit with an exhaust, it has more displacement and there's no replacement for displacement. Probably triple the horsepower. Triple the horsepower, it makes way more torque. It's a better carburetor design and it's just better engine design in general. It's overhead uh, valve versus a flathead. Now the flathead stuff is great if you're putting around the yard or going to a classic vintage show or something, but for performance, Vitilli is where it's at. We'll see if we can get this thing on there and try to catch up with the Go Power Sports guys. <coughs> I don't even hear them anymore. I don't hear them anymore. It's not gonna be good. Nope, nope, we're good. Dude. Oh, man, buddy. All right. It looks close. Oh, that's, that's gotta go your way some more. Uh, we're gonna have to remove the air box lid. I mean, that'll probably <laughs> get us a little more up. airflow. Yeah. 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 Look at that. Yep. So removing yeah. the airbox lid is going to give us a little more airflow and, and it's going to help the fit. <laughs> yeah, it allows it to fit. This exhaust is not fitting. So we're going to need to put this exhaust on something and hit it with the hammer. The rock. That's what I said. Okay. <laughs> I got hit in the back with a rock, so I'll, I'll move. I'm sorry, buddy. No, you're okay. It was a little pebble. <laughs> Dude, the, crop, the crop top. Oh, we're done. Oh. <sighs> we can't just tighten it down? No. Vice grip. Is it broken? Dude. I mean, it's bent, but steel bends both <laughs> ways. <coughs> I don't know. We'll check. I don't know. How's it looking? Big as golf sleek. Oh man. Oh yeah. Really big. Big big. You wanna I'll get it one more time? I say we I say we tighten down the bolts. I wanna try one more time. Yeah, one more. Clever. Check yeah. This out. Oh yeah, he's putting it on the crankshaft. Yeah. And then you're bending it with that one too? Yeah. Ah, oh, extension. Leverage. Three. You may help hold the engine. Or well. Sure. Yeah. I'll say we just tighten it up, see what happens. Tighten it up and see yeah. what happens. Well, we might not get the uh, pipe off anymore because... That's all right. It's a lifetime unit. All right, so we leveled the bike and we're checking the oil. Now we're going to crank it up. All right. Oh. Let's hope we have some more power, guys. Yeah. Got a long way to go. Yep. Oh. First pull club. First pull club. Dude. Woo! 
Is everyone with us? Yeah, uh, well done coming. Hold on. Oh, I put my foot in cow poo. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, look, the little babbling brook. Yeah. Come on, boys. Woo. John, we got a stream. Oh, wow. It's just, this is gnarly, dude. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe the MTD's doing it. Yeah, dude. It didn't have any problems with it. Dude. Let's hit it, boys. All right. Fellers. All right, here we go. I had a rock in my foot. Hey, do you want to go first? I can go. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, look at that trail up ahead. I'm going to the right. Yeah, I'm going to the right too, bud. Watch your leg. Yeah. There's a stump. There's a stump at the end. Yeah. Dude, this is sweet. All right, this is awesome. Mike, honestly, you're like... I wouldn't go much faster if I could. Yeah, no, no. It's a good pace. Yep, and yeah. it's uh, I don't, I don't smell a bell coming from him. So, if Ike might have the most amount of torque to the wheel based on his gearing, he's got such a small tire. Oh, y'all off your foot. Okay, yeah. I just uh, almost lost the foot. Yeah, your foot peg got bent up. Uh, you may have to. Yeah. Oh. oh Charles belt or chain? Yeah, my chain yeah. just fucked off. The MTD is doing awesome. It is an absolute beast now. But we've run into one more problem. The boys are stuck on the trail. And, uh. Just loose chains. Yeah, the chains were loose. It popped off. We're fixing it right now. You about done, buddy? Yes, sir. Just told All right, so. Tighten the axle nut and we should be half a mile down. <laughs> how much to go. All right, let's get on the trail again, guys. On the road again. You're in the rut. I know. Well, I was, I was, I was already in the rut. And uh, the last time I was in one, I tried climbing out and I popped my chain off. Boys, on the road. Gotcha. Yeah, we are. Oh, hi, you're going to head gnarly. Oh, yeah. gosh. Good luck on the MTD, brother. Well, what? There went my chain. Can, uh, again? Yep. All right, I need to get to the top of the hills. Ooh. Yeah, we're good. It's okay. I'll, uh, I'll pop it back on. But I mean, like, I didn't even hit anything. And it's right. Like... So we fixed the chain and like half a mile later, less than that, we're pulled over again just because it is brutal. It is brutal. I'd say the MTD might be the best off right now just because of the, the it has the gearing advantage it has the smallest tires it has the most pulling torque i'm sure it has the lowest top speed but up here at elevation and and high grades inclines it's the bottom end torque is what you need and these uh the hurricanes are struggling a little bit just because they have these big tires and they're comfortable but um especially the the bone stock one doesn't have the torque so we end up pushing it up the hill at 9,000 feet of elevation so Charles is taking hits of oxygen over there. We've stopped and we're uh, breaking out our, uh, what are we calling that thing? Snacks. Our snacks. Built on. And uh, we're just going to sit and think real hard about if we want to continue on or not. Uh, super frustrating. It looks like we're uh, getting to the top of the hill right now. It does look like the top. Yeah. Then, just a few hundred yards after we set off, Charles's chain popped off again. Our working theory is that the sprocket got a little bit of a bend on a rock earlier in the day or the week. The bike was able to ride around just fine in regular conditions, but the heavy load of a steep climb caused the chain to pop off. Then it was really frustrating to try to fix while on a steep incline. The bike is trying to fall down the hill, you're trying to fall down the hill, and plus, you're at 8,000, 9,000, or more feet of elevation, and you're constantly out of breath. It was grueling. It was time to make a tough decision. We had completed less than 10% of the trail and already burned over an hour due to breakdowns and our engine swap. Yeah, all right, so just a few hundred yards later, and we keep having uh, some chain issues with this one bike could be a bushing that's gone bad could be a bent sprocket yeah we the chain could be bent we don't know and we don't have replacement parts so uh charles has been kind of battling so he's going to be turning around and heading back to camp we're gonna miss you buddy that's okay i won't miss this trail yeah <laughs> sure.
Yep. Yeah, it is. Y'all can keep it. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this gas jug off the back so you can leave it with y'all. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you, dude. So we're gonna send Charles back with the uh, with one of the hurricanes to uh, camp. It's got a bent sprocket, bad chain, something like that. Wow, it's it's been getting torn up on there. Yeah. Um, I'm the only one with a family, so I'm going back. Yeah. No, fair enough, dude. Uh, and we're we're switching over camera stuff. We're giving him all the essentials, and we're taking all the tools with us because who knows what we're gonna need. We just said goodbye to Charles, and uh, and then there were two. <laughs> it's the OG boys, dude. So we're just gonna keep running. <laughs> do what we can and now we'll catch up with you guys when something interesting happens of course just a few minutes after we parted with charles the terrain leveled out and opened up into a gorgeous meadow and overlook although i will say that charles made the right decision to turn back because the climbs only intensified from here i wish i had taken the stage one parts off the other hurricane because this 196 was struggling the stock trail master powertrain is great at sea level, but here at elevation and steep inclines, I wish I had a stage one kit and a 60 tooth sprocket for easier climbing ability. We have to give a huge thank you to Go Power Sports for having us along on this trip. Whether you need performance or replacement parts for your vintage or new mini bike or go-kart, gopowersports.com can hook you up with the highest quality products at great prices with second to none support. Of course, anytime you place an order with Go Power Sports, be sure to let them know in the order notes that Cars and Cameras sent you. I'll link the build sheet of each bike down in the video description so you can check out these parts for yourself. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, gnarly. Uh, oh, man. That is gorgeous. That is insane. Yeah, no brakes. We continued on a series of rocky climbs and descents. The MTD chugged along like the little engine that could. My Hurricane was controlled and comfortable with full suspension, lots of ground clearance, and front and rear brakes, but the MTD was struggling without rear suspension, basically no brakes, and little ground clearance, so the pegs often got caught on the rocks, nearly throwing Ike off the bike. in EV mode. Yeah, and I, yeah, go ahead. You have limited gasoline. Yeah. And you just never know when, uh, how, how much longer we have. Ooh, and I wish I had front brakes on this thing. <laughs> yeah, this, this thing is straight chilling right now. Oh. Not even trying. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> oh. oh, you bottomed out. Oh. Oh, the family jewels. Oh. Uh. Front brakes, front brakes. This has been one of the most awesome days ever. Yeah, absolutely. The greater the risk, the greater the reward. Oh, <laughs> oh dude, that's gnarly. Oh. Yeah. If I'm going too slow for you, let me know. Okay, I mean, yeah, you're holding me up a little bit, but it's not too bad. Oh! oh. Yeah, the old yard bike doesn't have any ground clearance. Yeah, yeah. We're moving pretty good now. Yeah, hammer down. Wow, hammer down, baby. Dude, you are sending it. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> That's a big puddle. That's a huge puddle. You gotta let it eat, dude. Can you go through first? Oh, sure I can, buddy. Thank you. Uh, I just want to see. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Get some! I see what you tried doing there. Yeah, man. Ready whenever you are. Oh, come on, dude, you're cheating! Oh, you are. <laughs> he sunk the bike. <laughs> he sunk it. <laughs> oh, up to the 
axles. Up to the axles. Oh, 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 abort mission. Oh, look at that. I see what you're trying to do now. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Woo! Only one thing quit. Nice! Let's press on. Oh. Oh. oh, the old MTD. We pressed on to our toughest and highest climb yet. We were told the elevation here was right at 10,000 feet, and you can tell that the bikes and we were really feeling it. Sorry, John. I can't. Uh. Are the cameras still rolling? You okay? Are the cameras still rolling? Yeah. Hop on it. Hop on it. There you go. Go for it. Stop the camera. What? Stop the camera. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. This is a hard trail. Yeah. On like really high end mini bikes. Yeah. And uh, I can't believe how good the MTD is doing. I can't believe it. Yeah. It's a beast. All right, we're gonna take five. Yeah. All right, we're all rested up. We don't know how much farther we have. We talked to the Go Power Sports guys. They said we're over halfway. Uh, sun's starting to kind of get low. Yeah. So we gotta just throttle down and make it out of here. Minimal stops. I'm gonna hop on the MTD. Probably won't do much filming until something interesting happens. Sounds good. So, we'll see ya. So we were warned about a steep decline at the end of the trail and man, I think we found it. <laughs> I hopped on that MTD for about two minutes and said nope, because it had no brakes. I don't know how Ike is doing it right now. Oh, backside now. That's insane. It's got to be what they were talking about. We were running over rocks the size of the MTD's 40-year-old dry rotted tires. How they didn't pop, I will never know. My biggest complaint was that my hands were getting tired from riding the brakes. I can't imagine what it was like having no brakes at all. Every rocky descent we passed, we said to ourselves, this must be the descent they were talking about. And then another one came along. Finally, the trail opened up into another breathtaking meadow where we soon met up with a few guys from Go Power Sports who waited up for us. If you're gonna try something like this for yourself, I would highly recommend a Trailmaster MB200 for the countless reasons you saw in this episode. All right, so I can't believe it, but we made it. Some of the guys from Go Power Sports were here waiting for us. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I gotta say, I rode that thing for like two minutes and it, the ride itself wasn't bad, but like the controls were in an awkward spot, the tires are too small, the pegs are in a terrible spot. Just the Hurricane had much better ground clearance. Front brakes. Yeah, and front brakes. Yeah. That was some gnarly stuff, man. But uh, we had a ton of fun. These bikes can handle it all. I mean, I think a Honda dirt bike would have a hard time going up and down this trail and we did it on mini bikes.
yeah. at eight to 10,000 feet. So thank you all for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this episode. We'll catch you next time. Oh, hold it, oh. last to go, bro. Side pocket.